The model of the new 100mm A19001 Universal Automatic Naval Artillery System looks like a toy. The full-size version is a dangerous weapon capable of firing 80 rounds a minute. It can strike naval, air and land targets and uses stealth technology for protection. It's being installed on Russia's latest military ships. The model of the artillery system is just one of the exhibits on display at the closed exhibition organized by the Ministry of Defense as part of a conference on the development of modern artillery systems. The horizontal angle of fire is 180 degrees, 90 degrees this way and 90 degrees the other way. Until quite recently, these models were regarded as top secret and were not put on public display. This is what the latest complexes will look like, self-propelled artillery guns mounted on a full-track chassis with a four-wheel Kamaz base. The high-explosive, long-range, precision-guided weapons can target an enemy at a distance of up to 70 kilometers. At the exhibition, developers of the legendary Grad and Smerch systems talked about the new long-range multiple rocket launcher, the Tornado C, which is still at the testing stage. The Tornado C is automatically directed by GLONASS equipment and has a long range. The range of the smirch today can be up to 200 kilometers. Military experts say that this is precisely the type of weapon the Russian army needs today. It will allow a maximum amount of high-tech weapons to strike significant enemy groupings without having to come into direct contact with the enemy and at minimal loss to one's own forces. The sky of the Kapustin Yar missile range is being illuminated by salvos fired from Smirch rocket launchers. Artillery men from the 79th Guards Brigade can only hold target practice during full scale exercises like Caucasus 2012, which they are currently participating in. But drilling the deployment of all systems is an everyday routine. Prior to heading for their firing positions, the crews must place 12 charges, each weighing nearly a metric ton, on the launcher rail, all within 46 minutes. Once in the firing position, the equipment should be covered with a camouflage net. The battery can await a combat order for as many as 30 days, remaining in offline mode. But as soon as the order is in, the countdown takes just a few minutes. The vehicle has to be converted from a traveling position to a deployed position, while officers get busy determining target distance and elevation angle. If an off-vehicle fire control panel is used instead of the one inside the cab, the crews will have to strap on their gas masks and dig in. Otherwise, the dust raised by the launch will choke their eyes and ears, while smoke and flying projectile covers could cause serious injury. <laughs> The blinking yellow light on the panel means that the Smirch launcher is ready to fire. A rapid withdrawal from the firing positions is practiced following the mock launch. In a real combat environment, withdrawal speed is a matter of life and death. The battery must withdraw from its firing position within three to five minutes after the launch. A rocket projectile launch would raise a large cloud of dust. The enemy would detect it right away and fire on the location. The battery must leave in order to save crews and equipment from potential enemy strikes. These combat deployment drills help crews to train coordination and nearly automatic position. There should not be a single hitch during target practice, let alone in a real combat environment. The new Tornado G multiple rocket launchers were fired for the first time at the Prudboy firing range in the Volgograd region. Twenty new units entered service in the southern military district in February. 
The new rocket launchers will replace the GRAD system. You can control the firing parameters simultaneously in at least three locations – the aiming device, truck cap or in a shelter. Igor Grezyanov said that the new multiple rocket launcher is different from its predecessor in that it has an improved guidance system. Preparing it for combating opening fire takes 33 to 50 percent less time. This launcher has an increased range. We could shoot a maximum of 17-20 kilometers with the GRAD system. With this launcher, we can shoot up to 40 kilometers. The kill radius of one launcher is about one hectare. This is when the launcher's capacity is fired at once. However, because of the size of the firing range, the drill is kept within a 2,000 meter range. The commander said that the system successfully demonstrated its combat potential. Military units defeated the enemy under the Caucasus 2012 military exercise. Under the exercise scenario, four enemy ships were deployed 56 kilometers from the Caspian coast. A BAL coastal defense missile system and Coast Guard ships were used to attack the enemy. The BAL missile ship accomplished its objective and hit the target about 100 kilometers away. The military says this unique missile system can hit targets with 100% accuracy day or night at a distance of up to 120 kilometers and in any weather. It takes only about 10 minutes to deploy the missile system for action. Military personnel declined to comment on the missile control specifics. They say all one has to do is push a button, and the BAL missile will streak towards its target at 850 kilometers per hour, without damaging the operator's ears. All enemy ships were destroyed on September the 20th. Russian military units will repel an enemy amphibious landing on the Caspian coast during the final exercise phase.